aliens. So I pretty much just woke up, but while I was asleep, there was a bunch of new gameplay shown off for Age of Calamity. Um, apparently, from what I can see and what I've heard, it's with Daruk and Impa. And so I'm really looking forward to seeing more gameplay from the two of them. Um, yeah, I thought I would just kind of pop on and record my reaction to the gameplay, talk about what's going on and what I'm looking forward to, kind of what I did yesterday. Um, some of you might be into it, into this, some of you probably aren't into this, but I just thought it would be fun to try out and have a look at. So yeah, let's have a look and see what there is. I'm watching the videos from Game Explain. They have two up. There's a 15 minute one and one slightly over six minutes. Um, I don't know if the six minute video is just a cut of what's in the 15 minute video. I will have a look and kind of if it is then I won't bother reacting to it again. Um, unless I do feel like it, I don't know. Um, final kind of little tidbit, I'm recording in the middle of the day. If you guys have watched some of my reactions before, you know this is kind of how it goes. When I have reactions, they always kind of come out in the middle of the day, so you might hear background noise, there's a lot of cars going by. I'm, I can't help that, I'm sorry. Um, but I will try and kind of, there was one there. <laughs> I will try and kill the, the uh, background sound as much as I can. So, okay. So we're playing as Daruk, and we've got some Gorons already talking to us. I'm so happy. Again, I wish I could understand what they were actually saying. Using his boulder breakup, obviously. And I think that's Lincoln Impa running ahead of him. Yeah, this looks. To, yeah, this is definitely Death Mountain. Oh, that was so cool! Look at the rocks! Oh, and the little little guardians there too! Still not sure what he does. Maybe we'll see a little bit more from him in this. So it looks like with Daruk's combos, he can obviously use his boulder breaker, but some of his combos lay down rocks, and then if you do more into those combos, they kind of change and reach forward and stuff, and become like magma rocks and obviously he can use his Daruk's protection and he's rolling around in it so Daruk's protection is ready to roll guys it's a moblin so it is cool that the Daruk's protection is actually working as a barrier. Like they could have done something with it to make it kind of be more of an offensive attack, but actually just keeping it as a barrier I think works cool. So he's got like this super defense. Oh, I didn't even realise that. He just used the Shika, a Shika rune. Yeah, he used the uh, Cryonis, or is it, isn't it? Yeah, Cryonis, Cryonis. I don't, I can't speak. I don't know. But yeah, obviously we saw Link use that yesterday. I do love that you can pick up. So obviously in Bra in Hyrule Warriors, you could get materials to upgrade. Um, items and stuff um, but on the battlefield they just showed us little pouches little bags I like that when you pick them up this time it actually shows you what get what you're getting I think that's a really nice little touch the bombs that's really cool I do like it's it's strange but I do like that everyone's using the Sheikah slate obviously it doesn't really fit with what we've been told but Maybe they'll switch around and tell us a bit more in the story about why everyone's using them. But I love that they are kind of for everyone because seeing all these cool combos about how you can use them with each champion to kind of make some really cool attacks just looks really cool. I love it. There he goes! Success! <laughs> There's a lot of his alphas. Did he just pick up another boulder breaker? Or oh, that might have been another weapon, like, 
to use because obviously you pick up weapons with different stats and stuff even if it is the exact same weapon you're already using oh some choo choos oh we're playing as impa now nice so we got to see a bit of impa yesterday but oh we're not seeing much more info but we got to see a little bit of her um oh octorox I'm glad that they're not just using um, Moblins, Bokoblins, and Lazalfos. Like, that was obvious that they would be using those a lot. But I like that they were also using Choo Choo's and um, Octoroks, these smaller enemies that aren't really much of a threat, but they're just kind of there to add a little bit more variety. Even though you guys know my thoughts on Breath of the Wild's enemy variety. <laughs> Yes, so I think I mentioned this yesterday. The runes seem to be working in the same way as like the bombs and the hookshot were in the original Hyrule Warriors. So you can use them for regular attacks, but you can also use them as kind of counters to certain enemies. As you saw, like there was a like a little pop up above the uh, Moblin, which had the Cryonis um, thing. Oh my God! Look how cute it's like. <laughs> He's holding it like a little toothpick. He's <laughs> so tiny. <laughs> um, oh, I love it. But yeah, look there. You can see the uh, the rune kind of pop up on the moblin, showing you have to use that to kind of do it. Or was that for this? Was that for the the wizrobe stuff? Maybe the wizrobe staffs are also kind of like that as well. But they definitely are being used in a more kind of, in a way similar to the bombs and hookshot and boomerang wear and hyrule warriors. Oh, you have to actually use Daruk's protection to get past all of these boulders. That's great. I love it. This this kind of world, this this version of the game is so much more I think in depth than Hyrule Warriors. Hyrule Warriors was just very simple hack and slash when you look at the gameplay. This one has a lot more kind of stuff to it which is good. Saying Hyrule Warriors came out on the Wii U they've had a lot of time to kind of work on it I guess. Oh we're in a camp. I love that the camps aren't so obvious like you can obviously tell them on the map but they they're not just these giant squares like in Hyrule Warriors they were these giant squares that just when you think about it just kind of look a little off especially in places like um Faron Woods they like there's just these perfectly square perfect square shapes on the map that don't really work but in here they've actually kind of built them into the environment so some of them seem to be bigger some of them seem to be smaller and they don't have like these bright lights or anything to sh to signify that they are them. They just have malice, which makes perfect sense that keeps of enemies would have a bit more malice within them. I think that's really cool. And I haven't pointed this out yet. It seems that there is pretty much full voice acting. They are caught like the characters are commenting on all of their attacks, well, most of their attacks, they're talking to each other as they fight. I don't know if the one, the uh, voices, if there'll be voices for the characters talking who are like popping up in the bottom corner. Um, but for the most part, it looks like pretty much everyone is being voiced most of the time. Obviously, they're going to be voiced in the cutscenes as well, so that's really cool. And that's also kind of something to think about when we get to like. Obviously, uh, Age of Calamity is in the way at the moment, but when we eventually kind of turn back to that Breath of the Wild 2, 2 content, um, will that game have full voice acting? I know it's something a lot of people have wanted, so it's it's an interesting little thing to think about. And here we're fighting a wizard robe. They have all the same animations. It makes me so happy. Oh, <laughs> that's a lot of Liz Alpos behind them. Impa's gameplay is so cool. Like, 
she's not exactly how I imagined if you watched my uh, video on how I thought like characters I wanted to see playable. I said I thought she'd be kind of more of a traditional uh, Sheikah, not using Sheikah tech. But when you think about it, the traditional Sheikah is uh, actually using tech. Like, they use all of the technology, and that's why uh, the uh, the Yiga happened, because they wanted to use their technology from their, their ancestors and stuff. So I guess it makes a lot of sense that she is actually using all of this magic and all of that stuff. I think it looks really cool. And it's definitely, definitely a uh, very mad, um, Monk Maz Koshir, the uh, boss of the um, Champions Ballad. Very much like that. And I think it's really cool. Got all the sound effects. Using the the little wands, I love it. I love that the wands are actually like from the uh, wiz robes are being a bit more of a more important item. I think that's really cool to have them as kind of just what was just a random weapon, being a uh, more kind of important, useful weapon in this. I wonder if you have to pick them up at each round because this this didn't. I don't know if it did start right at the beginning of this level. But maybe we had to find them throughout the level, or we find them and we just keep them. I'm not sure. Doing her, her little Naruto hand signs. <laughs> I love all the jokes about um, Impa's kind of moveset just being pure anime. I love it. Anime Naruto y stuff. <laughs> Yeah, so there we go. Using Cryonis as he runs towards them, make gives him like a big stun so you can attack him. We're in another camp because of all the malice. Picked up some moblin guts. <laughs> <laughs> I love the set like all of the uh, background looks so good like it feels like we are actually in Def, like Death Mountain from Breath of the Wild you've got all of the uh, kind of Goron paintings and stuff on the wall all of the little um, lanterns it just makes it feel more than just like a a big open battlefield it actually makes it feel a bit more like Breath of the Wild. It's weird to say, oh, it feels like Breath of the Wild, because obviously it's a prequel to Breath of the Wild, so you'd imagine that. But looking at Hyrule Warriors and looking at this, there's a lot more stuff, I think, in this one, that a lot more kind of care in the environments to make him feel even more like Breath of the Wild. Like Death Mountain from Hyrule Warriors, you could really say is any Death Mountain. It's Ocarina of Time, but there's a few things, and that's pretty much right in the back. Like, if you cut out that whole back section, it isn't too much like a Death Mountain. This, like, all over the place. There's just so much detail, and I love it. It just makes it so good. Look at Link and the little... And little uh. The little eggy guardian is so cute, but I wanted to also mention, I just realised Link's using a different weapon to what he was yesterday. So, obviously, that confirms we've got different weapons. Pretty obvious that we would, but... Nice to actually have them confirmed, I guess. I mean, we already know we're getting a pot lid and a, and um, what's it, a ladle. <laughs><笑> Is that Moblin on fire? <laughs> oh no! Why is he on fire? Did, did he hit the... Did the Moblin attack the Lazalfos? Because if, if that can happen, like they can knock back their own enemies, I think that's really cool. Saying, again, in Breath of the Wild, the same thing happens. You can... Moblins can freaking attack their own people. <laughs> mm. 
Final attack. Nice. We've got one kind of captain left on the map from the looks of it. Using the bombs. I love that you can throw mo multiple and you can choose kind of where. Like, it's not just an attack that happens automatically. You actually get to see kind of the... Uh, see and choose where you want to shoot your arrows or throw your bombs. I think that's a really nice little touch to make it more engaging. Got some choo-choo jelly. Look at these little, little gorons. Oh. One thing I think I briefly talked about yesterday when looking at the gameplay is they look to be like the um, the allied soldiers look to be a lot more engaged than they were in the original. In the original, your allies were kind of just there. Even the playable characters that you could switch to when you weren't playing as them, they kind of just stood around and did nothing. It looks like both the enemies and the allies have kind of been upgraded in their like actual <laughs> want to attack and i think that's going to be really fun to actually have people that you can feel that you can actually rely on like oh these guys are in this keep i can leave them they can get this keep in hyrule warriors you're like oh these guys are in this keep i should go over because they're not going to do anything but in this game, at least from what we've seen, it actually looks like they might actually like try and do some stuff. <laughs> Another keep. I just love the malice. I love all the malice that appears when you're in one. It's so kind of like, if you didn't even realize it, you're like, oh, why is there malice? Are we in a keep? Yeah, I think like that's a cool little touch. It's not so intrusive it's it's very kind of in a way not it's not subtle because you can tell but it's a lot less kind of uh intrusive than the uh big bright lights around the keeps anyway that was the end of it i'm over talking um so that was the first game explained video there's another one let me find it where did it go here we go. So this one seems to be, I'm guessing, something different? Because, yes, yeah, so this one says that we have a Guardian battle, which is exciting. And um, we're in a different place. So, yeah, this is a different video. Let's have a little look. So we're playing as Link again. He's in his soldier's armor. Link, uh, Zelda and Impa are speaking to us. And this seems to be the Breach of Demise. <laughs> It looks very, yeah, I think this is the Breach of Demise. It might be kind of Hyrule Castle in the background, but there's like, yeah, this is, yeah, this looks like the Breach of Demise, which is actually a real, one of the coolest named areas in Breath of the Wild. Oh, and, oh, I thought, Zelda, is that Zelda on the map when I just kind of, I don't know, I thought I saw bl long blonde hair. Yeah, Zelda's there. Doesn't look like you can play as her, but... Zelda's there. Zelda's helping out. Nice. Imp is all, all, also here. You can all, obviously tell she's there. Using the arrows again. Ooh. I don't know if we've see, seen it. I think we've seen it a little bit, especially in trailers. But yes, the uh, kind of slow down parry, parry move, parry move is back where you can slow down time and just land a bunch of hits. I think that's great. That, that's going to work really well in some fights. Look at the tiny guardian. He's so cute. <laughs> It's nice to see Zelda running around as well. This could, yeah, this. I think this is the Breach of Demise. Obviously, it's changed a bit since the, with the actual game. 
but see, looking in the background, it looks like kind of Hyrule Castle-y, kind of main Hyrule field. So that's what I'm guessing this is, because it's quite close to that, isn't it? Oh my god, you can... Yo, so you can pick up... You can, electrif you can electrify a box and pick it up with the uh, Magnesis rune and kind of... Is that... Wait, is that electric? It might just be the rune. I don't know. It looked electrified, but that's cool. And I think that's the first time we've actually got to see the uh, Magnesis rune. What is that? Was that the Magnesis rune but for Impa? Because it looked like she picked up a, a crate. That was cool. <laughs> the combo. Oh my god! Look at Impa! She's just chilling on top of the rock! On top of the uh, giant ice block. That's so cute! So it looks like each of the characters might have their own animations for the uh, the runes, like different things that they can do. That's really cool. It's an ice whiz robe. Link! <laughs> Again, I love that all of the uh, enemies have their kind of exact animations from the original game. Like, it just makes it feel so much cooler. An apple? Throw the apples at him! <laughs> oh, maybe the apple is like a heel. Not sure, I don't know if we've seen him use it, but perhaps it's like a potion. Do I use that special? Yeah. <laughs> Although that was like a, um, when you took down the whole meter because we still got our special in the top left. That poor single Boko blend. <laughs> you just froze that one guy. Oh, you can make it. You can change the size of how like big the radius of it is. Also, was that puddle always there? Or was that from what we what we just used of the ice? Because if that is, if I if that was kind of what happened, that'd be really cool. See if we can tell. No, I think that puddle was always there. <laughs> But that'd be really cool if you used an ice attack and it left like a big puddle. It's the Guardian! So this is after... Ganon has come back, maybe? Or maybe this is kind of his influence is already kind of pushing forward and already taking over guardians and stuff. Like he's not actually there. Oh, we didn't even get to see that much. Darn, that sucks. But yeah, maybe, maybe, um, because maybe Ganon isn't back properly, but his influence, he's already coming back. Some of the Guardians have already started to kind of be corrupted and stuff. That would be really cool. 
Anyway, that was the new gameplay for uh, Age of Calamity. I'm really looking forward to this game. I really like seeing more of Daruk. I really like seeing more of Impa. Um, yeah, I'm really excited for this game. Obviously, you guys know this. It's kind of like ridiculous to keep saying that I'm so excited because it's pretty, pretty obvious. But yeah, the gameplay looks really fun. There's a lot of stuff that's kind of changed and been upgraded from Hyrule Warriors. I've actually been thinking about making a, making a video talking about kind of all of the new kind of changes and upgrades to the fighting and just overall gameplay style and fighting of um, Age of Calamity 2 Hyrule Warriors. I think that would be really fun to do. So I might do that. Don't hold me on it. I might do it. Um, but yeah, those were the new bits of gameplay from um, Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity. I hope that was everything because I, I would want to watch more, but I think that's pretty much everything. But yeah, that was everything I could find. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And yeah, tell me down below who you're most looking forward to play in Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity. Maybe you're looking forward to play as Daruk. Maybe you're looking forward to play as Impa, Link. Personally, I really want to play as Verbosa. So, uh, yeah. Tell me that in down, down. Tell me all of that down in the comments below. I'm stumbling, stumbling over my words. I did say that I had pretty much only just woken up. But, yeah. Uh, anyway, tell me all that down in the comments below. Thank you all again for watching. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye! Yeah.